because they know who's going to get the email. Okay. And just, What's the next? Uh, just to clarify, when Bob said that there are still two ways to turn an article into a you either can fill out the actual thing on the on the website, you can email the work order, or you can email the subject work order to you, correct? You don't actually, didn't we say that before that you actually don't have to No, but once you do it on the, on the, on the website, it emails you automatically. No, I think, I think what Eric is saying is that the homeowner has three options. The homeowner can do a work order form according to the website. They can come into the clubhouse, fill out a work order, or they can email you directly but in the subject line, put work order. Right. Okay. Sorry, Eric. I just no, that's good. And then in terms of tracking that, in terms of tracking that, right. there were some points that Bob had in his so procedure the, the, for system connect, the new system of Connect is very, 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 very good. Okay. Yeah, the system is but, but we don't have Connect yet. Well, it's yeah. technically in place. It's not publicly utilized by the homeowner since you all have a different website. So that's another one of those conversations we can get into. But on our side internally, we just now started using that. Actually, you've been using it here for about three, four weeks. Right. Yeah. So it's another new system that's going to be very helpful. What was the address you were saying about with the ruts in the driveway? What is it? 72? It's called the set. 71. 71 Palm Beach Plantation. Uh, Obviously. Okay, so this is this is part of the accountability that we're working on that we just need to really, really get better at. And there's certainly a lot of efficiencies we bring to the table. Yeah, we can explain some of that when we okay. give you some information about how the board will be able to access that in real time. Okay. So Great. Great. Yeah. I don't know if we're done. Are they work harder? What's that, sir? Are we aware of the work harder? Are we aware of work harder? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't even know about that. Okay, I have a question. Oh, okay. About landscape? Uh, well, I suppose it is unskipping. Uh, I'm talking about uh, pest control, lens, ants, and I'm wondering if we have any, anything on happening on this. We have any contract like with I, any company or like I explained, like I explained, like I, like I explained at the last board meeting. The only contract with Palm Beach Broward for land, for pest control is ants, and it's not an ant broadcast. It's an ant specific, and like they said. They can kill one mound with the bait that they have, which is according to their contract. When they kill that mound, the mound stays because they don't fall away until it rains. If you kick the mound, there's no ants that come out. But the problem that we have is that ants travel up to a mile and start a new mound. So what we're doing is, we're the, the, according to what's in place in our contract, they go around and dump the bait on each mound. But it doesn't, it doesn't completely get rid of the problem because it's not a system-wide broadcast. I still am waiting for a quote from Pat about the uh, cost of doing an ant, an ant system wide broadcast throughout the community. Pat has been unavailable until this last week due to a uh, father illness and his father passing away. So I've kind of cut him a little leeway and not jumped his back about, hey, where's my quote? Where's my quote? I've been a little uh, lax on the fact that dealing with family issues and being in Michigan bearing his dad. So, and he is the person that does that through Pompey's Broward, so I've kind of laid off him a little bit about that until we got back into town. Before you ask your next question about pest control, can I ask a question? Yes. Related to that? Is that the kind of thing that your committee could look at with pest control companies as opposed to just a landscaping company? Well, here's, here's where we're running into some things that pest control hasn't been under the landscape committee per se. If, you guys won't landscape to take that on, that's fine, but Josh and his maintenance guys were working on some stuff there. The only thing that I asked of the maintenance committee was at least if you don't get a quote from Palm Beach Broward, which is, this, which is your committee's decision and completely fine and I have no issue with, at least do the association in the neighborhood the due diligence of checking with Palm Beach Broward to ensure that the pesticides that they want to use from the other companies aren't going to have a negative impact on the fertilizers and the products that Palm Beach Broward is using for a couple of reasons. One, Palm Beach Broward uses green products. So if I have a pest control company coming behind them using something that's not green, it could have a potential of a negative interaction with the fertilizers and other items that Palm Beach Broward is using. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's well, what yeah, no, that's and that's we've had communication about that. Price, didn't, didn't get back to but, but like I just explained, the guy that does that has right. been in Michigan burying his father. So I'm 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 okay. to give him a little bit of time. Okay. 
to make things fair, then uh, I'll have someone on my committee to look at it. Well, either way, your committee is already proposed. Well, somebody from your committee has already been doing that because they contacted yeah, I know. Okay. That's why I didn't take okay. it. Okay, it's, it's, it's getting done. It's getting done. It's a matter of we're trying to find bidders. Yeah, so no one's finished. Finish. Yeah. No, you guys, you so guys, you want to give us a recommendation? Okay. Okay. Yes, if you have a question. I have a question about the damage done by that 18 wheeler. Um, did we go back and charge back that 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 okay. company? It was done. It was done three days ago. Yeah. We don't know anything about it. I know communication is okay. nothing's been fixed at this point or anything. I, my assumption is that once we determine who it was, they'll get back charged. Yeah. That will contact the company and tell them, hey, this is what you wrecked. This is what you should have a record. I, I would think so. What do you mean? Hi. Oh, my hand. Right. Um, I contacted the guardhouse. There's nobody warmer, warmer, or anything like it came through here. So we have to assume whoever came through tailgate. Now, for me to look that up, I did I did hear something about that. Yes. You know, uh, that, 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 that a truck got to... stuck in the back gate. That a big truck got stuck in the back gate and couldn't back out. And somebody let him in because he was stuck there. That's why we're camera, right? No, 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 no. That's why we're camera. We the same this morning on the... So... So and I have no do we, we have video from the back gate? Well, I'm pretty sure we have. Is it, is it recorded? I, it has recorded, but I haven't had time to sit down and watch it. Okay. Just, just like this morning, it was reported that there are two arm things missing out of the gym. Mm -hmm. so they went missing yesterday sometime. But you know, it takes hours to sit there and go through these videos, and I've been counting palm trees, okay. unfortunately. Well, hold on a minute. Now, let's, let's be fair. The palm tree counting stopped last week. No, right? no, we, you I, thought, I only did the front. Did we be going around the back of the houses? I got an email last week saying that it was done. No, oh, I, I, I gave email? it to you. I said you would be done the front. We hadn't done the legs. Okay. okay, okay, so. Um, okay, getting back, may I ask a question about the palm trees before sure. we go away? Well, no. the, palm, the palm trees, I had no idea what this area was. I went to the website and I didn't know what I was looking for. Called Pat at the Palm Beach Browser and said, what I'm looking for, he told me. So I uh, then get 50, if they find 50 trees only in this community, I promise you I will carry one out by myself. They have a, they, I, I said that just from a quick drive right. around, yeah. that's about what, they, what they're thinking. Yeah. I didn't, and never, they don't have the list from you yet to yeah. go look at each tree specifically. And yeah. I would argue with experts, but my question about the palm trees is, what are we going to do about the ones that are dead? Well, that's a, that's a very good question. How long have they been dead? Why have the homeowners not been notified? Why have they not been violated? Why 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 are they not getting you, this information? You'd be surprised how fast they are dying right now. I saw I saw one last week and I went when I went out there now, it's come I was with Jacques, I don't know if you saw it. It was called last week when we saw it, it was still green, it had one on it. I thought, oh, I wonder what's wrong with it. When you mentioned this afternoon, it is completely dead. So, this so that list exists, and we're hopefully going to get a more accurate there's, determination. There's, six, there's, there's 600 on the list, so right. we need to narrow it down. We need to look at the issue. So, maybe we'll be somewhere in between. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Any, other, any other questions from the dais or Mike? I will get the, the, the camera from the back, but I will ask uh, Bryce from Martin Brothers to do it for us. Because they, they have ways of people doing it faster, they have also have the staff. Okay. okay. Yes, Juan. Um, that's one of the reasons why I feel that more people on our board should be trained on using the cameras. Uh, it's not a hard thing. I've done it in the past. And, um, you know, it, it could be the security or somebody, you know, a couple of people on the board to assist in reviewing the cameras. I mean, it's not that hard to do. Understood. Even getting volunteers, you know, that, that are, you know, experts in that. But we're closing it up to one person, and then we get a price come out and uh, the charge. He charges us a lot every time he comes out here. Well, let me ask you a question. You're, you're saying that Bryce can do it, but Bryce is going to get with me. I need no talking in the audience for right now while we're going through this. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have side discussions out in the audience, excuse me, I need you to step outside. I, I, if you're going to have side discussions, please. If you're going to have side discussions, please step outside because it's very, getting very difficult to hear up here. If, hold on, let me ask the question. If Bryce is going to do it, he's going to charge us for it? Um, the last two times that he did it, we needed to charge. Okay. If there's going to be a charge for it, then I think you need to let the security committee know about it and see if we can get a member of the security committee to look at it. Because 
you know, we're not just gonna have random people looking at these videos. We need, to have, people, we need to have we need to have people that are, are fairly technologically savvy and they need to have signed the code of conduct because they need to understand that this is confidential information. Okay. Possibly include a communications committee look at these videos? I'd rather for right now having the security committee do it. If we start to broaden it that similar to what we have Nancy and looking at it. I'd rather not, <laughs> not broaden it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me start with some comments in the audience. Uh, Dawn, just, let's move uh, swiftly too, because yeah, we got yeah. a lot of hands up. Yeah, no, I just I want to go back to the broadcast people with the ants. Uh, yes. That I don't necessarily um, think it's a good idea to broadcast the ant treatment. You're spreading chemicals across an entire area that may not necessarily need it when you're looking at uh, just specific areas. Usually that's why you stock treat. You also have to remember that the chemicals that you put on your turf go into our lake system, so it also affects the health of the lake streets, algae, sometimes you have those algae problems, that's from runoff from chemicals, the lakes irrigate back, so you're creating the cycle of too much chemicals. People have animals, children, so be careful on the amount of chemicals that go on the turf. Okay, so like that, can be that can be discussed discuss in the landscape, yeah, I think it's a great, those are some great points, so. And that, my thinking is just to have, I, I don't want there to be one bidder, I want there to be three bidders, yeah. and I don't want it to just be a landscaping company if we can have other bidders. So yeah, no, I, that's all I'm saying. I would ask the landscaping chemicals. committee to do that. We want Palm Beach Broward's input, but we also need to have the appearance that we're going out to market on this thing. Yes, ma'am, at the back. Well, I just wanted to say, I, uh, when you were talking about security, um, about having someone who can do it, I actually am a certified police officer, and that's what I did with the city of Rivera Beach. I monitor all their surveillance cameras, grammar tags, and everything else like that. Are you on the security committee? I am. Okay. I, I just joined. I just Excellent. joined. Excellent. Oh, thank you. You know what I saw? There's too many, and many of you guys noticed, the last few weeks, my boyfriend was a PDSO deputy who came on here. The calls for service here again were ridiculous. We had too many people come in the back gate with their parking their cars there. They're walking in. My home specifically um, had a black male at the back of my window, and he walked in from the back gate. So, and thank God, my other half just happened to be with a dog here. The guy came running out and they chased him out here, but I had an alarm call. So whatever you guys need with a security camera, I ran their shot spotter system, I ran their whole security system, I'd be happy to give my time to you guys for whatever you guys need. trimming 
in some way, shape, or form results in damage to the tree, what do you do? Is it the homeowner's fault for requesting it? Is it the landscaper's fault? Trimming is the responsibility of the HOA in our neighborhood. Am I correct? Well, there are there are certain trimmings <coughs> that are going to be done. Yes. If that was one of the trimmings, the that was covered by the HOA. Look, I'm not going to get back and forth with you in an open meeting like this. But what I'm going to say is, I asked the committee to look at it. You heard that they were not unanimous in their decision. But the reality is, is that we cannot treat one homeowner differently than anybody else because it is a big ticket item. It is a big dollar item. And if you're talking about respect the results. Well, if you're talking about the removal of the tree and it's $195 times, 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 we all are spending a lot of our money on that. And so it becomes a utilitarian approach. You do the best you can, you treat everybody the same, and that's what the landscaping committee has done. If a homeowner complains that you damaged their property, on the day it happens, and you come out and you take photos, and you're told it's going to be replaced, six months later, you're told it's going to be replaced because they still didn't do it the first time, I pay for you to manage my, my landscaping. And after two years, the same grass that has been dead for the last two years is still dead. Yet you cash my check every month. Mm -hmm. How is that acceptable? Look, Did I lose a warrant that I'm not aware of? You know that you know that mm -hmm. I've been you know that I've been in office for three months. I, I don't know all these discussions I you've had with others. Okay. I understand that. I've asked the people that that it's their duty to investigate it, and unfortunately, I understand you don't like the result. But this is the result that is a fiscally responsible result by this board, unfortunately. So, any, anybody else have any questions for Mike on the landscaping committee? Yes, Brian. Can you talk about the work order and allowing people to send you their complaint? It, yeah, it's, if, if you're not comfortable going to Christine. I, I don't think you can do that. Just, just well, here's the reason. Uh, it'll get copied to the management company. It's going to get copied, but here's, the, right. here's, the, here's why. I'm a member of this board to serve you, my community. <laughs> if you're not satisfied or happy with the service that you're getting from first service, I'm another avenue for you to take to get done what you need to get done to your home. That shouldn't be the end all be all. And if I can help facilitate issues at your home regarding landscaping <clears throat> being resolved, I'm more than happy to do that. That's the pleasure I took. And I, I understand you're trying to help. I'm just saying to streamline and make things as efficient as possible. They, there are three ways already. So they don't feel comfortable going to Christine. They can go to the website, correct? Yeah, but it still I goes. Think you need to that but it, it still goes to her. I, I take it on as it is. But I, and I appreciate it, Brian. But it still goes to her. Who's the chair of the landscaping committee? Send him your complaints. He'll copy management and we'll move on. But that's. I think the I'll work call, order. The I'll idea is that as many outlets as possible. I'll follow the structure set forward. Excellent. Thank you. Can I just follow Thanks. up on just okay. one thing, please? About about landscaping. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it really does documented that the landscaper caused damage. Are we now taking the position? that we are not going to take responsibility for that? No, should I get some history and clear this up for It's, we, we only have so many hours in the day. The bottom line is it's been looked at by the Landscaping Committee. The Landscaping Committee had a full and complete discussion about it. As I understand, it was a lengthy meeting. They made a recommendation to this board and, and, and you know, that, that's, that's where it stands. I think that if we continue okay. to go back in history and reopen things, we're never going to get through any of these meetings, and we're going to have more problems. Um, and we're going to get to that with the gate issue in a second, or with the fencing issue. So I, I, I would recommend that we not do that. Um, communications Committee uh, report, um, KS? Um, we went through our top 10, and we reviewed uh, the information uh, with the website. And basically, the, the, the recommendations that are coming forward to the board, uh, for the most part, is we needed to get a, a new mic. Um, and I don't know if this one is long enough. And the other thing is, um, we wanted to ask, I asked the board how they wanted to handle WebEx questions from the uh, audience. Uh, are we, are we, are we going to take questions um, from WebEx? And the other thing that was pretty important is um, uh, WebEx uh, edit, 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 ed